Prince Harry and Prince William have Javendis play Princess Diana's wedding dress in decades to a new exhibition at the Orangery of Kensington Palace. Princess Diana wore the famous dress, which boasted a 25-foot train, the longest in royal history, at her 1981 wedding to Prince Charles at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Now, almost 40 years later, the dress can be viewed once again by the public as it is set to go on display at her former home Kensington Palace in a special exhibition. It will be displayed with Princess Diana's 7.6-meter sequin-encrusted train, the longest in British royal history. After her sons, Prince Harry and Prince William have given their permission to have their late mother's gown included, as the centerpiece of a new temporary exhibition called Royal Style in the making opening on June 3 in the Orangery of Kensington Palace. Princess Diana's ivory taffeta gown was made in strict secrecy by designers David and Elizabeth Emanuel at their Mayfair studio. It features a fitted bodice overlaid with panels of lace that had once belonged to Queen Mary, the Queen's grandmother, a scoop neckline and large puffed sleeves. The bride's ivory silk tulle featured 10,000 mother-of-pearl sequins. Also on display will be the sequin encrusted train, which remains the longest in British royal history at 25 feet. Its gently scooped neckline and large puffed sleeves are trimmed with bows and deep ruffles of taffeta, a style popularized by the princess in the early 1980s. Historic Royal Palaces, HRP, said while announcing the exhibition on Monday. The gown will be on show at Kensington Palace for the first time in 25 years. Named Royal Style in the Making, the show will examine the relationship between designers and their royal clients. The exhibition will offer visitors a sneak peek into the rarefied world of the atelier, unpicking how some of Britain's finest designers rose to the challenge of creating clothing destined for the world stage, historic royal palaces said in a statement. From the symbolic power of a coronation gown to the romance of a royal wedding dress, the designs on show helped shape the public image of the British monarchy, and promoted the British fashion industry on a truly global scale. The exhibition will also feature a rare toile that has survived from the 1937 coronation gown of Elizabeth, the Queen's mother and consort to King George V.I. Princess Diana's fashion choices were eagerly observed by supporters and the media both during and after her marriage to Prince Charles with her elaborate wedding dress stunning royal fanatics in 1981. Some of her dresses have been put up for auction, including a Disney-like ball gown that was also crafted by the Emanuels, her favorite designers. The exhibition will also kick off a number of commemorative events in honor of what would have been Princess Diana's 60th birthday. On July 1, a statue of the late royal commissioned by Harry and William will be installed at Kensington Palace to mark the 20th anniversary of Princess Diana's death and recognize her positive impact in the UK and around the world. Royal insiders are also hopeful the statue will have a positive impact on her son's relationship and help them put an end to their year-long rift. Thank you for watching videos. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos.